<laughs> right, uh, we're, we're going to do a special video later on there, to show you how to cook an essential van life meal. Uh, we've looked everywhere to see if we could, uh, if someone else was doing it and there was a way of doing it, and we'd still not come up with anything. Uh, but we think we might have solved it. So, it's a successful shopping trip, but we're going to try something different from what we normally do. We've always bought fresh pizzas, but Armando asked us if it, if it works with frozen pizzas, and we don't know. So, we're, we're hoping it does. So, there you go, That's yeah. this is what it's going to be. It's going to be a uh, vegetarian pizza, just especially for Manic, so we know that he's it's really meat adverse. So, uh, <laughs> so we'll, we'll try it later on uh, with the trick of how to do it. Right, we're going to do pizza van style, no oven uh, and no grill. We've looked, we've looked and we've asked people. Uh, Mel and Amando apparently they use a pan with tin foil over the top of it uh, and put it on a really low light, and apparently it takes about 20 minutes. Uh, this is quicker and we think it works but we've never tried it with frozen pizza but Armando asked us about a frozen pizza so we're going to try it so you need a frying pan flipperizer pizza a plate and the secret ingredient is Greaseproof paper. We we were looking for the Teflon oven, uh, Teflon oven uh, bottom liners, uh, which can like which like they make sandwich bags out of, you know the Tammy's toaster bags, uh, but we couldn't find it. We found this and uh, it it works. Uh, so we got it in amazingly little, because if you never need anything, you can get it in little or Aldi. Uh, in little. So, uh, what we've been doing is we've been doing slices. Don't I'm sure you can uh, you could do uh, a full pizza at once, but there you go. So we've been doing slices. So we quarter the greaseproof paper. So you get four for every sheet. We can have some extra goat's cheese on it as well. Oh, do you want extra goat's cheese on it? Thank you. If, if you do. I can, uh, I can sort that out. No, no, it's but, fine. Uh, but this is just a, an in principle sort of thing. Uh, so, like I say, we've not tried it with frozen pizza yet, uh, but Amanda asked whether it worked, so we thought we would give it a whirl. See if they've if we, if been a proper. Uh, uh, what? Being a proper what? Uh, a proper cookery show, we'd have had one uh, pre done, wouldn't we? So we've, we've been doing quarters, so we'll sort of stick to that. And it's not as easy to cook when it's frozen. I'm going to say quarters, it's uh, sort of nearly a quarter. So, medium heat. And just put it in to cut the bottom. All right, so we've, we've we've done the base for three minutes. Uh, so what we're going to do now is flip it. See the base looks like it's done. 
here behind. Did you just turn that down a bit? Just turned it up a little bit. Leave it alone. Uh, this is something that we've not had before when we've done it. Is the liquid coming out of it lobs up. I uh, guess that bit's frozen rather than uh, fresh. Or it could be from the spinach. It could be from the spinach. Because it's, it's frozen spinach. Ready. Right, cheers, get some bubble in. Turn that off. Right. Mm. right, I'll just cut a bit off so I can try it. Shall I try it? It's warm all the way through. Rather lovely. This is our second attempt, uh, which we did the uh, the base for. A bit less mm. and the top for a bit more uh, which seems to work a bit better uh, but yeah we're just thinking that uh, the, the spinach makes it soft uh, makes it wetter uh, than it has done but then again that could just be the frozen pizza because we've not used frozen pizza before but the base is good but the base is better if you cook it for less time so it works Ooh. it works we're happy it works this was the last piece that we uh, that we did uh, we still think it's better with fresh pizza don't we or that could just be the spinach, spinach. Uh, we don't know we'll, uh, we'll see but time to suck in right we hope you enjoyed our first uh, camper kitchen uh, cooking <laughs> installment uh, Please let us know if you've got uh, any better ways to cook pizza in a van. I'm not convinced that's the best way, but Simon's not having it. Well, we've not seen any other ways. Uh, so if you have got another way, uh, let us know. And if you do try it, let us know it works out for you. And we will see you again.